What up, people? Always great to be hanging out with you again. It's Richard Ung, back once more to show you something that is going to make your life so much more easy. I tell you, vapors have it really good nowadays. Gone are the days where we have to just prop our atomizer onto a stand, work on our builds, take it off the stand, and then, you know, screw it onto a uh, ohm checker and then check our resistance and also for shorts as well. Take it off again, screw it onto a mod, fire up the coils, pinch them, make them look nice and all that, burning from inside out, then put it back back onto you know the ohm checker to see the final resistance after pinching them man oh man that's a lot of back and forth you know now you do all that on one single deck and that's what we're going to be checking out the 521 tamp by coilmaster She's a beauty for 40 US dollars and I think Malaysia is going to be marketed for around 160 ringgit, somewhere around there. And I'm sorry, I know, this might be a clone because there is something called the burning tab by the Friday morning which is exactly like that. But that's going to burn a hole in my pocket or at least for a lot of us because that retails for around 170 to 200 US dollars, way, way off my budget. You know why I call her she as well? Because simple, it can multitask. It'll read your ohms, burn your coils, check your voltage drop, gives you resistance check, single wire or whether it be a coil, vape on it, you know. If you have a short in there, it'll show you an error message and last but not least, still lights up and looking nice, hot and sexy. <laughs> let's go for close up with the 521 tab by Coilmaster. All right, so let's get up close and check out the 521 tab by Coilmaster. That's what it says here, and it's quite a big box, six by four by two and a half inches in height. And you have coil up to be master here at the back. It's got features, specifications. That's how the device looks in there. Scratch and check authenticity. Website, QR code. Yeah, lift the box up, the cover I mean, sorry. And you have this giveaway card for t-shirt coil master all you got to do is just send your best photograph to them to their website and uh, if you win every month they're gonna give away one of these okay QR code in there so that's a little contest kind of thing like that for you and you have the call master 521 tab instruction leaflet not really an instruction leaflet more like a just diagrams to show you, you know, the device front, back, the voltage uh, measurement, introduction, specifications, and some notes, and that's about it. And let's check out the box with some spares in there. You have a micro USB for you to charge the device if you run out of battery. Okay, it requires an 18650 battery, by the way. I would highly recommend using high grain batteries. You have two crocodile clips. Some people call it alligator clips. Yeah. These are the clips here. Yeah, these two clips here. And on the other end, you have these two prongs or banana prongs. Probably some people call it that. Red and black. So it's positive and negative. And you have this little adapter here, which is for you to attach to your device like that. And this sits over the, uh, sorry, sit, sits over the uh, firing button like that. Once you clip this on, you can actually check your voltage drop on either your mechanical mod or your box mod, all right? So I'm gonna put all that aside and bring up the device. There's nothing left in the box. That's what it says here, engraved on here on the plastic. This whole entire thing is made of plastic. Qualmaster specifications made in China website here at the bottom and you have a micro USB charge port here for you to charge your batteries and you have your power button here one and two and in the middle is this little circle that uh, means off yeah. and underneath on top you have a disk here for you to put your atomizer screwed on top to check your resistance and things like that. You have a little meter here. It's got a plastic sticker on it. I took it off. Uh, that's to protect your the uh, plastic on top or the glass. You have this firing light here, which is in blue once you fire it, and the uh, firing button for you to fire your coils. Okay. 
everything is held down by these um, hex screws here. You have two little holes here for you to um, put in your clips to test your the resistance of either a single wire or a coil. All right, let's open up the back cover, held on by four magnets. That's the cover. You have a little ribbon here for you to put your battery right on top of the ribbon. So when you want to remove your battery because it's quite deep in, it's going to be difficult for you to pull it out with your fingers. So you just pull the tab and it comes off, okay? In there, it tells you engraved 18650 you need an 18650 battery inside and it's negative on this side positive on the other side as you can see okay and it's also printed here 18650 3.7 volts lithium battery let's get a battery i've got my samsung 25r here so i'm going to put it on top of the ribbon positive on this side yeah as you can see so the negative on this side positive in first push it in close it back there's a little hole here that goes with this in line with this little piece here that extends out this protrusion here and okay I'm sorry I forgot burn off and checker that means if you click it on this side it means you're using the checker okay in the middle is off and if you want to burn your coil you only use this side. Okay, we'll come to the top and have a look at the screen display. Magnets holding it down, nice and firm. So here you go. Turn it on, lights up, nice red glow all around. And it says none, you don't have an atomizer on it. And also the battery in indicator, which shows full. I've got a fresh battery inside. Now, if you want to measure the uh, resistance so I'm going to screw on this little deck on top. So I've got my wires done, I've got my build done, screw it on top. And I'm on the checker now, just the ohm checker. It says 0.47. So it's a dual coil, 0.47. If I fire it, nothing happens. Alright, so if I want to pinch my coil, so I get my tweezer here. shows this pipe for whatever reason and this battery indicator so if I were to pulse it the pipe lights up you see the pipe that's the smoke coming up and this light the red light lights up as well so when you're pulsing it so you can actually pulse burn your uh, coils pulse your coils see glow yeah so just pinch it do your pinching, whatever you want to do with the coils, tweak it. So that's what you can do with this. Everything on one deck. Alright, same thing. So if you have an atomizer, let's say, you screw that on. And turn it on to atomizer. 1.02 ohms. That's a 1.02 ohm inside uh, coil. Fire it doesn't fire because it's on checker if I turn it onto the pipe you can actually vape on this thing see what I mean so speaking of vaping on this thing the resistance measuring range is 0.01 ohms to 9.99 ohms so it measures resistance as low as 0.01 on a coil but minimum resistance if you want to use it as a mod is 0.2 ohms so I wouldn't advise you to use nickel builds or titanium builds in there that goes below 0.2 ohms all right so it probably won't fire it'll show you a short before I forget this is spring loaded spring loaded contact pin there goes up and down yeah. and let's try out this little clips here put one on each end the banana prongs the black and the red and now we put it to checker so there's no atomizer there but what you can do is you can measure you know resistance of a single wire let's get it steady so this is the resistance it measures let's take it off 
You can also measure, you know, a coil with it as well. Let me show you this piece here. This is to measure your voltage drop. And all you got to do is just make sure this side here, this little hole here, goes on the uh, firing button. Push it down and you have a 510 extension here. So you to put your mod in. So you have a mod and you just screw it in. Okay, screw it down onto the 510 there. Hold this place in place. Fire this and it shows you 4.11. So I have a fresh battery inside. Well, fairly fresh 4.11. Let it go. Okay. And let's say I have an atomizer in there. Put an atomizer and screw it down. So the atomizer's resistance 1.07. And I'm going to fire it right now. 3.7, 3.3, 3.7. So 4.11 minus 3.7. And I should get to the math and you should get the voltage drop. That's how you do it. Okay, so let's take this out. Well, basically that's about covers everything. And uh, this is the uh, 521 tap. Let's talk some more when we get back top side. Oh, the 521 tap by Coil Master. It does look quite futuristic when it's all lighted up, I gotta say. Very nice. And it is very practical, very handy, you know. I mean, it'll save me a lot of trouble, a lot of hassle from having to go from this atomizer stand and then go put it on a mod and then put it on an ohm checker, all the merry-go-round. And these things don't last very long because it's made from aluminum. The thread starts to wear off. So right now, I have everything on one device, which is very simple. I can do my coils, I can build it, I can burn it, pinch it, everything is here. The only thing that I probably wouldn't use are those two black and red uh, crocodile clips to test, you know, the resistance of the wire or my coil. I don't quite trust them, you know, when it comes to accuracy, <laughs> they're questionable. And uh, well, I might go out to an electrical shop and get an electrician to, you know, get me those wires with the clips again sort of them and all that so i probably get better results but the one that came with the box no the what do you call voltage drop checker with the accessory there that one okay if i need to use it i'll use it as a general guide because uh when it comes to accuracy i am really not too sure about that other than that yes on the whole very very practical very handy so now I can just do everything with one device. So there you go. Where to get it, how much in the US, no problem at all. I think a lot of vape shops carry that for 40 US dollars. In Malaysia though, um, at the moment I don't, I don't know any retailer that's selling this, except I heard, I just heard that Vapor COD or Apple Pie down south may be carrying it, or they probably brought it in already. They already have them in stock and they're selling it for about 160 ringgit. So I'm gonna leave links in the description box to Apple Pie or Vapor COD for you, and you can go contact them and ask them if they're already selling this, okay? But that's what I heard. So if I do know of any retailers that's bringing this uh, 521 tab in here, I will leave links in the description box so you know where to get them, all right? Other than that, that's about it, I guess, uh, for the 521 tab by Coilmaster, very handy. Okay, it is very handy. That, no two ways about it. it saves you the hassle of doing all the uh, back and forth and transferring here and there. So, I want to take one more vape. I need a vape before I go. Much needed. Until I talk to you again, vape safe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.